Okay, I'm going to apply a special solution that's offset on the 6 inch by 2 inch. The uh, centripetal is over here, offset. And I'll add a special mix that I formulated of a viscous non ferret. You notice how it immediately jumps to the centripetal? You notice how it jumps to the centripetal? This is a special formulation that I I devised. Let's uh, zoom in a little bit more so we can see it better. Try that again. Remember that uh, this uh, glass jar full of water is offset. And the dead center of the magnet is over here. So... Let's actually do it here on the very far edge and watch it jump to the centripetal. That's taking it out even further and showing you that action. Once again, let's do a big bunch. You don't think I'm rigging it anyway. Fascinating. Now, if I can get the lid on tight here, I'll be able to show you something further. <sighs> it's nasty stuff to mix up. The fumes are horrible. But anything. Anything for the name of science, right? If you can see the displacement we're getting as I'm moving it from centripetal to centrifugal in the formulation that I created. Let's take it this way and take a look. Sorry about the shaky, shaky nature of the video. I apologize. As I come to centripetal, I'm getting displacement. However, that's immediately where it will jump to when I drop it in. So, now, since it's situated perfectly over the dead center of the centripetal, let's drop it in centripetal and watch what happens. Yep, and offset. See it jump to centripetal? I hope that wasn't too boring. I was just trying to prove a point to you. I can't tell you what the formulation is, but in a more viscous solution, this is what creates a prolonged vortex pattern on a, hopefully a new patented design of a magnetic uh, viewing solution and a special suspension. Thanks for watching and uh, Hope the video wasn't too boring, and I know it was a little shaky, so I apologize for that. Thanks for watching.